Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. We are on June 23rd, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to a quick video update here. Having a look at the last 48 hours on our sun, a few peculiar things going on right now. We've got large plasma filaments taking off from each direction and corner of our sun. We've had multiple solar flares, strong ones, and another one just now. But we also have 11 sunspot regions that are Earth-facing. During the beginning of our solar cycle 25, just some amazing images here. Looking at 304 angstroms, you can see the plasma filaments now moving to the left side after acting up on the right-hand side. Also notable here in the southern hemisphere, southwest region on our sun. Quick look at a large plasma filament loop. We're going to be keeping an eye on these things over the next few days as large plasma filaments can destabilize or even fall back into the sun or whip out towards Earth. And that's why I share all of this information with everybody so we can all have a heads up somewhat to the space weather events that are happening in our solar system. Just some amazing images here. Multi-spectrum showing that large plasma filament. Another look at all of our sun. Full look. At the beginnings of solar cycle 25, which it will be a maximum. We just went through quite a minimum, and if you've been paying attention, our sun looks totally different now than it did a few years ago during our minimum, heightened minimum. Our sun goes through solar cycles every 11 years. 11 years for a minimum, producing less solar energy towards us and solar events, and then an 11 year maximum, which of course, on the other hand, produces more. And in turn, in some cases, really affecting our magnetosphere and as well our geomagnetic position, for instance, our magnetic north. Earth is going through a lot of changes right now, and together we are witnessing this truly epic times to be alive. All of these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Link is in the description below. You can always check out yourself. But I like to share all of this latest space weather events as we have 11 sunspot regions in an earth facing position. All of this heightened activity, you have all been warned, been talking about solar cycles, planetary cycles. And that's what this is all about. Adapting to a new world, adapting to new technologies, and going with the changes that our sun is and always will provide. The son of man, the ultimate creator and destroyer of all life in our solar system, within a flash, can change everything. Just some amazing images here I wanted to share with you. Why I'm so adamant about sharing this information. Because our sun is about to do something funky. And we all need to be ready. We may not even get longer than a five minute heads up. Having a look here, solar X-ray flux showing most recent solar flare, strong M-class solar flare, M4.8, I do believe. But we've seen long-duration C-class solar flares affecting us here. Looking at 
highest frequency affected, the DREP, and then the most recent flare zapping the Pacific Ocean right there. So it was a quick one, but definitely something coming. Having a look here, ESPA Space Prediction Spiral, not showing a CME yet. I'm not even sure which sunspot it came from. But stay tuned, and I'll keep you updated. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.